penalty as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Jackson first play going to throw. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. And he is tackled inside the 49 point to the 35. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 37-yard line. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And he'll take this down to the 33. From the 33, here's the second down and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. A quick pass out to Aguilar. So just three yards on the completion there. And they're going to have a third down. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. That's it. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They get this out quickly to the left side. And he's not able to get away. He is... short of a first down. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They go play action now. Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing is Wilson. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. From the 10, first and goal. 
Wilson. And he checks this one down to Williams. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Again, Wilson. Finding Williams on the check down. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. Now Wilson changing the play. Wilson now going to throw on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They were so close. That close to their first points in the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A shotgun snap and again to Dobbins. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Second down and three. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. We're going to take this to about the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. Now Jackson on first down, sliding out of the pocket. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Hang up a man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing again here. Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now it's Wilson. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And Audible here to get a new look. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I think he had eyes on that run the whole time. Good anticipation because it seemed to me he waited for the coverage to get drawn away and then had the easy scamper out of bounds to get the short yardage first down. Now Wilson wants a different look. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Play action. It's Wilson. That is incomplete. It feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They go play action with Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And able to get this to the 31. That's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Flush to his right. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now Wilson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Second and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. To throw is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. Hits his running back, Piron. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. Here's Wilson. He'll get this out to his running back, p -Row. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Wilson will throw again. This will be caught. Judy, touchdown Broncos. Jerry Judy, 28 yards. And the Broncos have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. This taken in right around the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's a play to applaud because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him. There he goes, right side. There he goes, up the right sideline. Off to the races. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. 80 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. 
Jackson options out left on first and ten. It's down. It's and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They motion the running back out left. Jackson now. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Just like that, another one quits.